Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at this really basic ceiling fan. Now this cost me just 140 pesos, which is around 2 Great British Pounds or 3 US Dollars. So it's pretty cheap. It's not the biggest fan and it doesn't spin the fastest, but it's actually okay. The reason why I bought this is that sometimes I use the aircon in my bedroom. And what I find is the aircon cools the room, but it doesn't really move the air around very well. So having a ceiling fan can really help just to, you know, move the air around better but I didn't want like a big heavy ceiling fan that has to be professionally installed. This one just plugs into your regular AC socket and has a switch to turn it on and off. And believe it or not, you can hang it from one of these tiny little hooks like this. Literally just screw that into the ceiling. There's no need to drill or anything like that. And that's enough to hold this fan. And I've been using this for around, I think around three weeks now. And I've had no problems just hanging from this tiny little hook. Now, like I said, it doesn't consume much power and it doesn't really generate much air, but it generates enough. Let's plug it into my power meter so you can see how much power it consumes. So I'll zoom in on the watt meter or the power meter. Right here you can see the watts. Let me turn on the fan. And there you go. The fan's spinning and it's consuming around 4.3 watts. So it's very low power usage. Let me show you the fan spinning. Now I've got it upside down right now, but it doesn't seem to make much difference. It still consumes the same power. If I turn it over carefully not to get the wire wrapped up, you can see it's still pretty much the same. I'm not sure how well you can see the power meter, but it's 4.3 watts. It's not the quietest fan, but it's also not loud. It's pretty much acceptable. Now, as for how long this thing will actually last, that I'm not sure about. It's been going for a few weeks and so far so good. The print was already coming off it when it was delivered and it just pretty much wipes off. It's not very good print. Um, all it says on here is AC 230 volts, 60 hertz, and then 500 millimeters, which I assume is, you know, edge to edge on these fan blades. Now these blades literally just push in and pull out like that. Um, they're very flimsy, cheap plastic, but they only have to move a little bit of air, so they work okay. And if you wanted, you could actually try and DIY some kind of custom fan blade. I wouldn't recommend putting them in and out too many times because they do loosen up and you'd probably have to glue them, but there's really no need to be taking them out in the first place. Now, now, if it wasn't enough that this can be used as a ceiling fan, it can actually be used as a generator as well. So here I've got an LED light bulb. If I plug it into my power meter here, you can see it lights up and it's consuming around, I don't know, nine and a half watts. Now, if we connect the pins to the ceiling fan and then I manually spin this ceiling fan, let me spin it here you can see the bulb comes on. So you could actually use this as a kind of generator. Um, if you put this out in the wind, this would spin and you could generate electricity. Now, it's a bit more complex about that because you'd want to somehow regulate and store the energy, but it has potential to actually be used as a generator. So expect another video coming from me about that. Now I'm sure someone's gonna ask to see inside, so let me open it up quickly. So here it is taken apart, it wasn't too difficult. Um, I'm actually not really sure how it works. There's no brushes in this, it's completely brushless. It looks like this is some kind of iron or something like that. It doesn't seem to be magnetic. If I get my screwdriver and touch against that, it doesn't seem to be magnetic, but this inner part does seem to be magnetized. Um, perhaps someone in the comment section can explain how it works. You can feel as you turn it, the magnets kind of pushing and pulling against each other, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure how this works. Anyway, it's a pretty cool little ceiling fan, very cheap, and potentially it can be used as a little wind generator or manually spin it. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.